Let's watch this video. 20 years of chain smoking. Hello, party people. Welcome back to So Square and Cubed. I'm Jamie. Hello. Do you like these introductions where I make you wait for it? I think it's funny. You've read the title, you've clicked on the thumbnail. We are reacting to TikTok cleaning content. I thought I reacted to cleaning content, but apparently I did not. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I think I have found some good ones. In any case, a couple things that I do want you to keep in mind as we go through reacting to these lovely TikToks. Number one, I know I'm on desktop. I finally have the TikTok app on my phone, but I use my phone as my camera. So I can't do two things at once. Next thing, I am probably gonna be editing these TikToks down. If you want to see them in their full beautiful glory, I will have them linked down below because credit is always due where credit is due. And thirdly, I will also be replacing any and all copyrighted music with whatever I can find that might appropriately match the mood in the YouTube audio library. It's not always gonna be a perfect match, but I will try to make it work the best that I can. Without further ado, this is from Jenny's home, Jenny underscore S dot home. Adjust your volume and feel the fun of me cleaning. Original sound. I love those words, Jenny. Let's give it a look and a listen and see what is up. Firstly, who's home? This is a gorgeous home. Don't know what that is for. Don't know what that is for either. Oh, it's a trash can, duh. Oh my God, that lamp, cute. What the fuck is that? Hold up, okay. No, I'm sorry. This is where I draw the line. You can't make me want to buy things. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I need that. Okay, so Jenny is just knocking it out of the park with this beautiful cleaning ASMR. I know I talked over most of it, so you couldn't get the ASMR tingles, but that's why it is linked in the comments down below because she deserves your views just as much as I do. Anyways, you have a beautiful home and a beautiful life and a beautiful cleaning and grain organization system. And I just wanna watch you clean all day. Beautiful, amazing, 10 out of 10. Our next uh, wonderful video with 8.6 million likes, damn, hell yeah, is Honey Boba Bear, love your name, trying to become that girl. Next, I'm redecorating my bed, skull emoji. I don't, I don't know how to emulate a skull with my face. Let's see what you have to offer. I'm gonna try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration dates. So extra, okay, in this container I'm doing strawberries. And raspberries. This one will have blackberries. And blueberries, this is so pretty, am I on pinch? Okay, I just wanna say a couple things first and then I promise we're gonna watch the rest. First thing, my refrigerator also looks like that. It is incredibly hard to find fridge organization that actually works for me. So I gave up about it. Second thing I did want to say is if you're storing fruit together, make sure that um, as one fruit is ripening, it's not going to ripen the other fruit that you put with it quickly. If I remember correctly, um, potatoes and onions shouldn't be stored together. I know those aren't fruits, but they shouldn't be stored together because they ripen and rot in each other fast. And then apples and bananas should not be stored together because it's either the apples that ruin the bananas fast or the bananas that ruin the apples fast. I don't remember which is which. So when you're storing fruit together, do your produce research to figure out if they should actually be friends or foes so that you can keep your fruit longer and keep waste out of landfills, specifically food waste. Okay, moving on. Thing, I don't really know what it does, but I'm putting my greens in it. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was gonna take this much work to become that girl. This is just the fridge. I wasn't ready. Look how aesthetically pleasing this is. I'm gonna put the juices in separate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not doing it. There's six hours. This is what it looks like, and I love it so much. This is my favorite part. There's so much space. It looks like I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't. Cute. Okay, honey boba bear, I don't know what kind of validation I can give you, uh, but you have in fact become that girl. I am very proud of you. Your fridge looks amazing and beautiful. I wish that was my fridge, um, but also I don't wanna put in six hours of work. But yeah, good job. That's amazing. That's gorgeous and beautiful. Also, I don't know how we haven't run into a single thing that's using copyrighted music yet, but we haven't. I chose these at complete random. I just opened up TikTok on my desktop and started clicking around on stuff because I'm a gremlin. Anyways, Great job, Honey Boba Bear. Proud of you. Excellent work. If you want to watch the untrimmed, unedited version of Honey Boba Bear's fridge organization, you can see it 
in the comments down below. Oh, this one was interesting. Okay, don't smoke. Oh my God, this is gonna be so satisfying. 20 years of chain smoking, ugh. Mm. It's on the, I guess I knew somewhere in my head that like obviously if you smoke, like it's a, it's a gas, it's smoke. It's gonna go and land anywhere. But I never thought, I knew about walls and I knew about ceilings, but I never thought it would like get on the counters like that. Oh God, that's so, I'm sorry, but that's so bad. No, no, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Oh my god, you do beautiful work, Biggie. Appreciate you. I don't know if I'm gonna have to cut out the audio in this, I probably am, but basically he was just talking about going through and how he was cleaning systematically, like from top to bottom, so that he wouldn't have to clean areas twice, etc. cetera. Uh, and then one of the things he was mentioning there was putting a odor eliminator sealant on the walls called kills. And he said you have to do it so that the odor doesn't come through because what they're removing from the walls is like this liquefied smoke and tar. But if you have to imagine, if somebody is smoking in a house for 20 years or apartment, whatever this was, for 20 years, there is absolutely no way you can 100% get out all of that odor just by surface level cleaning. And that's what that primer is for, is so that the next tenant, even though everything looks clean, they don't wanna have to smell smoke every time they walk in their house. So yeah, don't smoke. Don't start. Don't do it, please. Uh, okay, and this one from Live Composed, I chose this because I actually saw it as a re-upload on Facebook as a reel. Um, I don't know if she put it on there, but it was clearly ripped from her TikTok, so apologies. Uh, but I'm watching it now, and I just thought it was really funny. So we'll, we'll just do this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they make a wall spray, but you were also cleaning the walls just fine. You're cleaning them just fine. Anyways, I wanted to end it on a fun little note because I just thought that that was super funny. I really thought we were gonna find more of those, um, the TikToks where people are like combining a bunch of stuff in a toilet or a sink and it's all like chemicals that should not under any circumstances be combined. And, but surprisingly, we didn't. And uh, I was gonna be honest, I was gonna get super mad if I saw one because you are not supposed to combine cleaning chemicals unless they say specifically to combine them. Do not combine them. Please don't do that. Anyhow, um, yeah, surprisingly wonderful pick of TikToks here. I thought I was gonna get mad, but you know what? I, this was a very positive experience so far. I had a fun time. I hope you had a fun time too. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Uh, but if you happen to find any fun TikToks, feel free to share them down below. You can also find me on TikTok if you try really hard, but I'm not gonna link it because I'm cringe. Anyways, party people, I love you. Stay cool, stay cute, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Toodles.